Welcome back to We Happy Few. Last episode, we literally delivered a body to be turned into human meat here at Cuddy's shop. And uh, now we're about to go into the back and become the slaughterer's apprentice. Get involved even more in the cannibal trade. Edmund's a good lad, but he's always been a bit limited. And my work has become so challenging of late. I've had to go to extraordinary measures to keep this town fed. We are in an extraordinary situation, aren't we? You were so helpful in bringing me that package. Now, we need to process it. You want me to help process that package? I'm not proposing you hurt anyone, you understand? Just ignore a silly old taboo. Just go on through that door if you're willing to help. I can't believe I'm even considering this. Maybe I should just walk out and report into the police. I'm gonna do it just because I'm curious. <laughs> Except. An easy choice to unchoose. Door of morbid acceptance. Oh, people say you can't get good help these days. I think I'm trying to turn me in there. Yeah, thing. it was a trap. No windows. Why, it's not ominous at all. Hey, rat friend. Welcome to Cutty's Mechanical Kitchen, featuring the very latest in meat packing technology. It used Yay. to take days to dismantle a carcass. With my new inventions, one apprentice can reduce a carcass to its edible parts in no time at all. I hope you're as excited as I am. This is the very first time we're running our machine. I still have my golden knocker on me? Jeans on the real. Is that. That must have been an oversight, right? I don't think you're supposed to have a weapon because you keep all your quest items. But I guess maybe they didn't think about the fact that one of the quest items you can have is a weapon. Also. Clothes? <laughs> I'm gonna look like Nick Lightbearer with a golden knocker. Yeah, alright. Now the first thing that I need you to do is obtain the package from the upstairs cold storage room. Don't worry. At no point will you have to unwrap the package. The magic all happens through the provided access valve. Wait, so are they not going to turn me into meat? Is this just a trap to force me to process the stuff? Oh my god. Delivery hopper. Need delivery box. Reject. Extrude meat loaf, meat bun, meat star, bunt cake, meat bunt cake. Select my stencil. Oh my god, the intake canister. No time to read this now. I think there is time to read it though. No time to read this now. Hmm. I guess like, I just gotta do it then. Do you have anything on you? No. First, we must exsanguinate the package. Bring it downstairs to the exsanguinator. Oh right, I didn't go downstairs. All right, hold on. No time to read this now. So I can't do anything until I do stuff with the body, right? No point, I guess. God, this game is so good looking. Before you make the package, you'll need to operate each machine once, just to clear out any residue and check mm. its operational soundness. We don't want to contaminate the product. <laughs> Join the package to the exsanguinator via the provided access valve. 
Now, turn mm. the crank until the exsanguinator determines that the package no longer contains free liquid. Oh, this is what I expected. Ah, good. As you can see, each machine will release its package once it's accomplished its purpose. Efficiency is our watchword. Next up, evisceration. That would be the... the eviscerator? You learn quickly. As before, engage the mechanism briefly to verify mechanical integrity. Was it supposed to do that? Did you not see the blades come out? No, just... just sparks. Also, a, a metal thing just fell out of the main bit. Oh, dear. The cognitics were overloaded again. I thought we'd fix that. Uh, maybe you better come down here and fix it again. Ha! Ah, uh, I'm sure you can manage on your own. There's a spare one in the cupboard downstairs. There's only one way to insert it. In the cupboard. We're already downstairs, right? But I think I can go more downstairs. Yeah, there's more downstairs. Oh! He clearly wants me to stay away from the cellar. Is that the way out, I wonder? Hmm. Ooh, this thing makes an interesting noise. So I can't break those things, so it's not going to let me in. Meow, meow. I don't recall signing on to be a prisoner. It's just for a little while, Arthur. Will you get up to speed? The job we do is very important to Wellington Wells. The fact is, we've run out of rats and ravens. Why don't you tell the executive committee? I'm sure they give you a medal. That's just it. Or you don't think they would? People love to think about cows eating grass happy in the fields. And they love to get a steak wrapped up in brain paper. So he loves to hear himself talk. Good. Maybe while he's talking, I can find something here I can use. But I don't think about how the cow gets into the brain paper. How the meat was connected to the bones. They want everything neatly wrapped up in wax paper so they can keep it out of their minds. We are here to let people deny uncomfortable things. I know where so they can get on with their Parker. <laughs> they just talked over themselves. <laughs> I think I still just have to go ahead. I still can't read anything, right? No time to read this now. It's in! There we go! Try the button again. <laughs> Good as new. Well, he's actually well mounted, lad. Well mounted. Excellent. When the eviscerator is done, the package will be dismounted, ready for another package. Uh, another package? Once I achieve a steadier stream of raw material, I would have to keep these machines running all day, or at least long enough to take advantage of any surplus. Protein that could be obtained in Wellington Wells. Now for the final process. Bring the package to the exfoliator on the next floor. Exfoliator? Yep. It exposes the skin to steam, separating it from the muscle. And then it removes the skin, making it available for tanning. Or other purposes. Mm. I, I don't mean to be impertinent, but shouldn't you do that first? No, oh, no, no. There are no stupid questions, only stupid answers. But that will result in a leakage of liquid. And you won't want to put it second either, because the package is much easier to manipulate with its skin on. I'm so glad I asked. On with the exfoliator! Press the button, check the functional integrity, und so weiter! I, I mean, and so forth! will be released when fully exfoliated. Exfoliator is the right word. I thought about decorticator, <laughs> but it's sanguinate, eviscerate, exfoliate. Has a nice ring to it. 
Triple E, yeah. Definitely exfoliate. I'm so glad to hear that. I mean, it's a scolder, skinner, but that doesn't sound very official, does it? And the last machine is the extruder. Mm -hmm. Oh, ho, ho, that's it. The package is now fully prepared. We're ready for the extruder. Mount the package and let's get cracking. Oh, ho, ho, I can barely contain myself. This is really the machine I'm proudest of. It's a combination meat grinder, pulper, and injection mold meat former. You wouldn't believe what I had to go through to get the pieces. Now, up on my board, you'll see a list of orders. We've already filled in the addresses. All you have to do is press the right button. For example, if the order calls for one meatloaf and one meat bunk cake, then you press the appropriate button and mm. then you put the order in a pneumatic tube. Oh, I think it's these icons up here. That must be it. That must be the board. That's not really a board in any way. <laughs> okay, so for meatloafs. Oh wait, is it also listed here? Is that listing it? Yeah, there that we go. Is terrific. We have a feeling this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. How much more of this do I have to do? Uh, oh, this this just shows you which ones you've already done, not which ones you have to do. So you do have to get it from out here. Star, circle, star, loaf. Circle star. What the hell is that? Circle star something. Circle. Bun cake. I want you focusing on the job. This is no time to daydream. Choosing. Loaf circle bun bun. Ow! What the hell? Go as fast as I can, asshole. Isn't it an amazing system? I'm quite proud of all the automation. I feel like I'm supposed to do something. Like this is just gonna go on forever unless I find something to do. Man, I'm really hurt. I don't have any healing items. Ugh. It's angry. Ow! I want you focusing on the job. Star this bunt bunt no circle. Time to daydream. Is there like something I can put in a box to like, I don't know, an explosive? I'm very impressed. There's gotta be something I can do. And look at that! Oh. I'm all out of orders! I think this new system's working brilliantly! I'm gonna find some way out of here. Take a break, plan a daring escape. Okay, can I finally read the notes? Yes. August 30th. Have to be more careful. I accidentally put my hat next to the suction coupling and it went right into the intake canister. Spent an hour pulling felt off the blades in the cyclone mincer. Imagine if that had been a bottle, or worse, a wrench. 
September 9th. Problem solved. Added a power cut off to the suction coupling. Now it won't even start up unless a package is mounted onto it. I'm going to add that same cut off to all the machines to minimize accidents. Don't want Edmund's hand ending up in the remit. Ah! If I stuff that broken bit of the eviscerator into the package, it ought to clog up the works nicely, shouldn't it? All right. Are you ready for another day of serving people? I mean, uh, serving the people, of course. <laughs> My little chick. Never mind. That. Something's gone terribly wrong. There's smoke coming out. That doesn't sound good. The better I'd come down. Don't try anything clever. We've got a lot to do today. And it takes too long to recover from the spanker. You're coming down? Yes, please do. What is this? Wellington Royal Fusiliers, English Home Army. Dear Mr. Cuddy, thank you for your contribution to the next war effort. The troops greatly appreciated your sausages. We all think your patriotic efforts are smashing. Do keep up the good work, and we will seriously consider your application to join the Home Army. Yours very truly, Lieutenant John Fortescue. And then written in longhand. You don't need to buttonhole me every time I come into the shop, Bill. It's not a matter of what you did or didn't do during the late, great unpleasantness. We all know that citizens were under a lot of pressure to cooperate with the G. And even if, at times, you seemed a little extra enthusiastic, we take at face value your protestations that this is just your manner. That that is just your manner. However, you are on the old side for a soldier, old chap. It will take a little while, and perhaps a few more sausages, before the boys are quite ready to put you through your paces, as you put it. Oh, hi. That's how you fix the machine? Oh, that didn't work well. Okay, let's try this again. Let's do this in the hallway because I don't think anything comes at me in- Ah. Oh. Okay, I think it's just scripted to mess you up even if- Actually, wait, no, there was a spanker right above me. I just didn't see it. Maybe every single room has a spanker. I think they do. Alright, let's find a different way out. Can I get them, like, sucked into a machine or something? I'm gonna wait till they get in here. <laughs> ah, da, 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 da. and go my dearest Marta I know I will never send this letter but I cannot help myself I must write you even if I no longer know if you are alive or even if I am we live in a world of absurdity and the most absurd is that we are apart I wish I had not been a coward and I had joined you on the last train it seems I'm one coward after another I don't even know what you loved in me Wait. We've seen this message before. I've read this message before. I'm almost certain. Weird. I mean, I don't see it in the list of notes unless it's under a different name. That'd be very strange. Eh, whatever. Anyway. Doesn't matter at all. Well, so many rats down here. So many little friends. Apprentice to the extruder room, please. Apprentice to the extruder room. No. God, look at those nasty hunks of meat. Are you skulking about somewhere? Mm-hmm. So down here I don't have access to everything in my storage thing, which makes sense. Fair enough. Yeah, I can't make anything, of course. I have almost nothing on me. Don't 
wander off, I'll need you as soon as I have this up and running again. Whoa. <gasps> Michael Cutting. Deceased. That must be why they blocked out the end sons part. This is their son. Else's things here. That's a good sign. You're not in the center, are you? Oh. Oh, it uh, sounds like they're down here. Let's heal up. Let's change over to lethal, shall we? Let's put on some better armor. And I don't know, a proper suit? Sure. I don't have any shoes. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I've got nine skill points to spend. Why is that gray? Oh, because that's something that I... Right, I need to get this before I can get that, and that's the only one that's actually, like, two skills away rather than one like all the others. That's why it's the only gray one. Do more damage hurting people. Uh, these all take ten, so I can't get them yet. Yeah, all the bottom ones take ten or more. I guess I'll just save my points. Save my points. Why are they not shocking me? Come over <laughs> oh damn! So I think I just need to be stealthy getting out then? Because there are spankers everywhere and I think it's scripted that you just get killed. You're not in the center, are you? I don't have a stealth suit. No, I wish I had that camouflage suit. Put that back on. Stick with a lethal weapon. Heal. Not that it really matters to heal. I do have a bunch of distraction devices. I should probably use one of those, huh? Like, Rick the Stunt Duck, maybe? Let's go with Rick the Stunt Duck. He's turning cadavers into V-meat. I barely escaped becoming V-meat myself. He's got these horrible machines in there that turn people into meat bunt cake. Human bunt cake? That's, that's monstrous. Is he armed? He has a rather nasty spanker, but I think he's a bit trapped in the cellar at the moment. Right. We'll knock out the power and go spank him ourselves. Thank you, citizen. We'll take it from here. You can't do this to me! I'm a pillar of the community! It's all lies! I never! Those are all perfectly legitimate machines! I'm only trying to feed people! We're letting perfectly good meat go rotten! That's insane! I should give thought to becoming a vegetarian. Whew. That was a hell of a quest. <laughs> What started uh, off just looking for the meat boy who was missing turned into they were beat to shit. Turned into we're their new apprentice. Turned into we're trapped in a basement being forced to turn humans into bun cakes. Holy shit. Alright, you know what time it is? It's time to go to Howarth Labs. Oh, I have 14 skill points now. Take less damage from most attacks. Prepare an even bigger wallop with a chance to stun. That's really nice. I think I want that. Chance of breaking an enemy's weapon with a successful block. That's also really good. It's a 25% chance to break their weapon. It's not even with a perfect block. Just any sort of a block. That's fantastic. This is also pretty great. 100% more damage and a 50% chance to stun with charged attacks. Hmm. Let's go with that. Worth the wait. 
Oh, yeah, so... We are going here... Well, I guess it's already the active quest, but we're looking for, like, some sort of cod liver oil or something for Sally, right? It doesn't actually say it in the quest, but yeah, we're looking for rare ingredients that they keep here. Something tells me we're going to find more here than just some oil. <laughs> I mean, I think this is where they produce joy. Sorry, sir. There has been a slight <laughs> hiccup in the disposition of the lab, and it is currently in isolation. No one in, no one out. Please come back later. Uh, but, but, uh, uh, I'm a reporter. I'm supposed to interview Dr. Verloc. Oh, I hope he hasn't forgotten. Oh, a journalist, eh? Have you got your press pass? I, uh, left it at the office. Well then, you'd best go back and get it, haven't you? So a press pass gets me in. Amazing what people will do to get in the newspaper. Maybe I can go talk to Mrs. Oliphant at the Oak Corral. See if she's got a spare press pass. Thought we'd end up having to go to the newspaper place eventually. My old office. That was fun, being a reporter. The receptionist is out for coffee. Typical. How am I supposed to get upstairs then? Lovely weather. Did you hear? The circus is coming to town. Popped out for some of the good coffee. Back in a flash. They're very enthusiastic. <laughs> oh my god. Are they okay? Well, it's not stealing to loot these, so... You can't go without coffee these days. It's unthinkable. It's not bad to search the... Search their desk, either? Although it is locked, I'm sure they would freak out if I try to pick it. Oh, the sneaking stuff. Now, Excuse I'm me, the, the door upstairs is locked. If I don't get some coffee soon, I'm gonna shoot somebody. Jesus. Chill. Uncle Jack has a cold. Eagle-eyed wellies may have noticed that some of Uncle Jack's shows have been repeats recently. This is no cause for concern. Uncle Jack merely has a light cold. He assures his viewers that he's taking plenty of joy in hot soup and should soon be right as rain. Stand tea. I must have coffee. Oh, what was that? Scargill Miners feeling festive. Last week, many citizens in the vicinity of the village's main Motelin facility heard what seemed at first to be a loud explosion. No need to worry. It seems that those jolly miners could not wait for the annual Victory Day, Victory Day celebration to set off fireworks. The company apologizes for any alarm the noise may have caused. That's an obvious cover-up. Oh, newspaper employee card. <laughs> Nobody's paying any attention at all. Anything else left on the desks? Garden Club President Camilla Tingle is best known for her lovely garden. She was always fond of foxgloves, but stopped growing them years ago after her neighbor, the late Mrs. Boyle of Ludsholm, accidentally used foxglove to season a soup. However, Mrs. Tingle has discovered that many other flowers that may be safely included in recipes. Lily bulbs taste like onions, she says. We fry them up with V-meat for our Sunday supper. Delicious. For a floral feast, try her recipe. Three lily bulbs, chopped, one pound of meat, any kind, and butter, or any congealed fat. Stir in pan together until brown. Do not drain fat. Did that give me a recipe for that? I feel like it probably did. Wakey, wakey. Drink piping hot coffee made from the finest dandelion root and chicory. I don't know about dandelion root, but chicory doesn't have any caffeine, so... 
<laughs> yeah, all the options are black, no sugar, black, no sugar, black, no sugar. If you drink the last of the crabgrass tea, kindly make another pot for others. Hmm. I bet if I got the coffee machine working, they'd all head off to the kitchen for a nice cup of joe. Well, it's easy enough. Give it some power. Make toasted sugar requires four times coffee beans. There's coffee beans. Oops. Whoopsie. I could take these all the time and I wouldn't have any worries. What was that? Hmm? Oh, I think they're freaking out because I punched a thing and it was kind of loud. <sighs> that should do it, I think. Mrs. Onofant to give me my old job back and my old press pass. Ooh. Where does that go? Oh. Oh, this locked door. Oh, so if you pick that lock, that would... Allow you to get in here? Hi. I'm not trespassing, though. Or at least the game doesn't think I'm trespassing, so I guess I'm just free to loot and not worry about being seen. I don't think I have a reason to disarm that. 